Hello guys, Dragon Grant G101 here, and I'm gonna be here today teaching you how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.5.2 and later. So there's only one thing you're gonna need for this, and it's Minecraft and Optifine. So for the standard edition of Optifine, you're you're only gonna need this, and as you can see, it's really fairly simple installation. So let's get right into it. So if you want, like. Optifine is basically a mod that lets you increase the FPS of your game by adding multiple options for like animations and things like that. And it comes with a built in MC patcher for HD texture packs and stuff like that. And it has like a really cool zoom feature that many famous people, famous YouTubers use to like um, zoom in on people on like survival games and other stuff like that. So, yeah, that was, that's basically what it's used for. And what you're going to want to do first after you've gotten and downloaded this um, I'll provide the link in the description below after you've downloaded this you go to go go to folder now right here you're gonna do want to do the squiggly line forward slash library forward slash application support forward slash minecraft should bring you straight to your minecraft folder or if you have any problems with that you open up minecraft go to options and then it says game location on disk and you click on that and then that will that will bring you to your minecraft folder as well just in case you don't it, this this method up where you press go isn't working for you so you're probably going to want to make up a backup of your minecraft just in case you mess up on the mod installation so what you're gonna want to do, I would press or right click on the desktop or save it somewhere else and change my just name it Minecraft backup or something. Then you're gonna drag all of these things into there. Then you're gonna open up Minecraft. You're going to log into Minecraft, which I'm going to drag to my other monitor. And after you, you're logging into Minecraft, it should say updating and downloading all the packages and stuff and all the things you require for Minecraft to run. There we go, it's logging in. And then you can just close your Minecraft. After you have this new reloaded Minecraft. You don't have to reload your Minecraft, but it's usually recommended because Optifine may not be compatible with some mods, and some just mods can conflict and stuff. And you can just make like multiple Minecraft backups and stuff. So, what you're gonna want to do? Go into bin. You're gonna rename your Minecraft.jar folder to Minecraft.zip. Use zip. Open the zip folder. Should leave you with the folder. Or open the zip file, then you should leave your folder. Then you're gonna name this folder to dot jar Minecraft dot jar. Add. Then you're gonna go into here. You're gonna um, open up the Optifine folder. You're gonna um, copy and paste or drag and drop this into here. Apply to all and replace. Then what you're gonna want to do is you want to you're gonna want to scroll down to nearly the bottom and find the meta dash inf folder. That doesn't allow you to install mods, so you just gonna want to get rid of that. And it's fairly hard to find because of the the huge the many files inside the Minecraft.jar folder. Okay, after you deleted the meta inf folder, you should have the mod successfully installed. So you're just going to open up Minecraft, you're going to sign in just to verify that the mod is working. So you log in. And 
and it loaded up successfully. So we're just going to go ahead and start a new world to make sure that it is going to load up at all this. And by the way, guys, you don't have to take out, like, um, you don't have to make a backup. You can leave everything in there. It can just kind of, can sometimes lead to a risk of if you mess up, then you'll have, and you reload your Minecraft, it'll delete all your stats and stuff. So you can keep your last login, your texture packs and everything in there, but be aware of that risk. And then you'll have like all your stats and stuff. But yeah, if I can see if there's the added options of Optifine. See, you can see as if you go on video settings, you can see all the options that Optifine adds, including all the animations and all that stuff. So have fun going through all that stuff and helping your Minecraft run faster. So yeah, guys, hope you guys liked the video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and look out for my other videos. Request another Minecraft mod showcase or mod installation video if you really want me to do one, and, and if it's a very popular mod. So, yeah, guys, Dragon Grand G101 out.